Hey everybody, it is January 31st. Welcome to my first vlog of 2020. Unlike some of my recent vlogs, I actually have plenty of news to share, which I'm very excited about. I told you I was setting a January writing challenge for myself, and that went really well. I wrote every day this month, and I met my 5,000 word goal. I didn't always necessarily meet my daily goal that I set, um, but I did write every single day, and I made the end goal, so in my mind that's enough, that's what counts. Um, sometimes I kind of took advantage of the fact that I had written a lot extra, you know, a few days before and was ahead on my goal and only wrote a little bit, which might not be the best habit to get into, but, it, you know, it worked out in the end, so I'm okay with it. Another thing I tried to do this month and will continue to work on in the future is letting the first draft be a first draft. I struggle with my inner editor a lot, and I tend to overthink the words before they're even on the page, which is not very conducive to writing. So I'm trying to get better at just putting my ideas on the paper, whatever I think of, and I've let myself make some small changes or strike through text and rewrite it, but I won't delete large sections of text right now. Um, the first draft is about getting the ideas out on the page, and then future drafts are about refining and figuring out the best way to, you know, express those ideas. So I just want to let it be a draft for right now. Looking forward to February, I've decided to set another writing challenge for myself because I think that really helped motivate me this month. I want to push myself a little bit more, but not too much, still ease my way back into things. So I have set the word count goal at 5,000 again, even though there are only 29 days in February instead of 31 like January. So this averages to about 172 words per day. As usual, I'll keep sharing my progress during the month on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there if you want more frequent updates and behind-the-scenes information. Just go to twitter.com slash Jennifer Gittler, and I'll have the link below in the description as well. And I'll probably also be participating in hashtag author confession again. So that's a really cool way for you to learn some more about me and my writing habits, as well as some, you know, sneak peeks of the book and story that's coming up. And I think that's about it for me this month. I hope 2020 got off to a good start for all of you, and I will see you next month. Bye, everybody.